guys, so today's video is actually the first video in my back to school series and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve a pretty simple neutral look yet it still has some drama to it so I think it's perfect for our middle schoolers or high schoolers. So let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to start off this look by applying my Garnier Fructis BB Cream and a little bit of this stuff goes a really long way so you don't have to use much and I'm just going to dot this all over my face making sure to apply some under my eyes so that we don't have to go in with a separate under eye concealer later. Then I'm just going to blend everything out. Next, I'm going to take my Benefit Boing Concealer and just apply it to any areas that need a little bit of extra help and blend it in. After that, I'm going to take my MAC Select Sheer Pressed Powder on an Eco Tools brush and just apply this all over my face to set all of the cream products I just applied. Now I'm taking my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and I'm actually going to be using this as a cream blush because I find that since it's matte, it looks really natural and it lasts longer than a powder would. Okay, so to start off the eyes, I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Shadow Insurance and applying this all over my lids and my brow bone. And this is just going to make the shadows appear more vibrant and last a lot longer. Next, I'm going to take this matte cream color from my Too Faced Natural Eye Palette and apply this all over my lids. After that, I'm going to take this gold color from the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette on a MAC 217 brush and apply that into my crease. Then I'm going to take this matte brown color from, you guys guessed it, the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette and apply this into my outer corner to add some definition to the look. Eco Tools blending brush to blend out any harsh lines. Now I'm taking my e.l.f. pencil brush with this matte brown color and applying that to my lower lash line. Then I'm going to take that same cream color and apply that into my inner corner and on my brow bone. Now I'm going to take my little tiny MAC eyeliner and apply that to my tight line. This looks really scary but trust me it doesn't hurt. Now I'm going to take my Jordana Fabio liner and apply a really thin line of eyeliner on my upper lash line, just about halfway across it. And this is going to make the eyelashes appear thicker, but it's not going to be obvious that you're wearing liner. Now I'm going to apply my NYX Nude Matte Shadow over that liner that I just applied to set it and make it last all day. using my CoverGirl eyelash curler. Then I'm going to line my waterline using my NYX Wonder Pencil and this is just going to make the eyes appear brighter. Now once again I'm going to curl my lashes because I'm really particular about them and I like them to be really curly. <laughs> Then after this awkward clip, I'm going to apply my Rocket Mascara and this is the waterproof version and I'm just going to be applying this to my upper lashes. Then for my lower lashes, I'm going to apply CoverGirl's Clump Crusher and you don't have to apply a separate lower lash mascara, but I had this one and I didn't like it for my upper lashes so I decided to use it for my lower lashes. This is another optional step, but I'm just going to take my regular Rocket Mascara and apply this to the tips of my lashes because I still have a little bit of this mascara left and I didn't want to waste it, but um, without a waterproof mascara under it, it tends to make the lashes fall. And that's it for the eyes. So to finish off this look, I'm just going to apply my Maybelline Baby Lips all over my lips. And that concludes this look. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope you guys enjoyed it because I had a lot of fun making it. Make sure to comment any video requests down below whether they're beauty related or not because I'd love to do that. And that concludes this video. Bye guys!